Hi, this is Miss Laura from the Franklin Park Public Library. We are going to be making mini coloring book, um, coloring and doodle uh, books. So um, let's get started. So in your kit uh, that you have, oh, sorry, first of all, you'll need a pencil and scissors and then whatever uh, colored pencils or markers or crayons that you may have that, that you can work on it later once you make it. Um, okay, so in your kit, you have the coloring pages as, as sheets. So we're going to need to cut these out along the gray lines. And then the red, the red piece of cardstock in here, this will be the cover. And the piece of string is is kind of how you, you're going to stick it together with the string. So this is kind of like old fashioned book binding here. Um, so just let's get started. So all you're basically going to do with these is uh, go ahead and kind of carefully cut along the gray lines. You're cutting out the individual pages from the, the sheets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to just go ahead and cut down the middle, then I'll lay one on top of the other and then cut them together and that'll kind of speed it up. Um, so I put the book together with the coloring sheets in the front in the first section and there's kind of uh, blank pages that you can draw your own uh, pictures in. Uh, there's some blank pages and there's also some prompts such as draw your favorite pet draw your best friend, draw your favorite food, and draw, let's see what else, draw your favorite hobby. Uh, so once again, I'll do the same thing, uh, which is uh, cut down the middle, and then stack them up. Stack them up, be sure to line the holes up when you stack them up because you need those holes to be on the same side for uh, kind of sewing the book together, binding the book. That's actually what's meant by binding a book, is books are actually, uh, well, they used to be sewn together uh, with, with, uh, with actual string and also glue. So, oh, just cutting these together. And then I'm going to go ahead and stack up the ones with the prompts. I'll leave the blank pages last. You don't have to follow these prompts. And also, you can also make your own pages if you want to, if you have, uh, especially if you have a hole puncher at home. Mm -hmm. So then once you have these stacked up, just go ahead and place the red cover around it and line up the holes. And that's what we're actually going to use the pencil for. I, I noticed that the holes aren't exactly lined up. So I, I'm going to use the pencil and kind of use that to kind of line, make the force the holes to be in one in one line because that'll make it easier to get the string through. And then uh, uh, since this since this is going to be at the front, I'm going to tie the knot in the front. I'll put the ends of the string through the holes from behind. And another thing that I noticed the pencil can be used for is to kind of actually help you poke the string through the hole. So just kind of use it as a tool to get it to go through the hole the first time. And then use the other piece of the string, the other end of the string, to go through the second hole. I'm just using the pencil again to kind of help push it through the hole. And then once, once we have it through uh, like this, sorry, um, just tie a kind of a bow knot. This is kind of cool because you could actually take out pages or add pages if you wanted to. So kind of tie, wrap it up like you're wrapping a present in a bow. You can tie a double knot if you want. And then any extra, if you have an extra, if it's really long, you can cut that off that end if you want it to be kind of lined up. And there, there you have your coloring book and your coloring and doodle book. Now you're not done. Uh, here's the time where you can take uh, some kind of marker and just 
kind of start pers personalizing it. Maybe you want to write your name on it, or maybe you want to write like my coloring book. Um, I'll go ahead. I think I'll write my coloring book. I'll go ahead and write. Um, use kind of block letters on this. That's a big my color. My coloring book. And you can decorate it. You can decorate some more. Maybe maybe you just want to write your name on it. Um, but this is essentially what you can do on the inside. Is just uh, draw whatever you want. Of course, um, on these coloring pages, uh, go ahead and color them. Uh, colored pencils work really well on this and also markers because some of these, uh, these coloring pages are kind of intricate. Oh, here's another thing hint is um, uh, you might want to just kind of bend it a little bit and that'll make it easier to open if you if you go ahead and and fold it open a little bit so, so there you go have fun drawing everybody thank you for watching